Riders, welcome back to another video. Today I've got something really exciting for you, I've got some battles with Mew again, but I've changed it up. We've got Snarl as the fast move now, and let me tell you it's insane. So I had Shadow Claw before and that charged at about 6 to 7 Shadow Claws, now Snarl charges at 4. So this idea came from a friend and fellow PokeTuber of mine, Awesome Gen. So check out his page if you haven't already, because he comes with some quality content, quality PvP videos and informative Pokemon Go content. So check him out if you haven't already. So I am using Mew on the lead. It's absolutely insane. It catches so many people out. They obviously don't know what charge move you're going to use because there's a massive pool that you could have. Anything from Rock Slide to Low Kick, I think, to flame charge, grass knot. There's so many potential moves you could be charging up to fire at your opponent that they should nearly always shield. And if they don't, you know, you could easily catch them out. I've hit wish cash with grass knot and almost one shot at it. You know, hit skarmory with flame charge. Any grass type flame charge is gonna do some insane damage. Any steel type, you know, it catches so many people out. So as always guys, please do like and subscribe if you're enjoying my content because that really helps me out and helps my channel grow. Let's get straight into this video. Okay guys, jumping straight into the first match up here. Straight in against a rank nine. Okay, we've got Mew on the lead against a Lapras. Not a bad lead for us here. The grass knot damage really does destroy Lapras. I don't really know what's happening to the opponent at the start there. They just weren't moving. But they do shield up there, so I don't know what was going on. They do now switch into a Malmetal. Unfortunately, that catches my grass knot, which would have been super effective on the Lapras, but doesn't do a lot to a Malmetal. But still a nice chunk of damage, considering it's not very effective, so... Now a charge move now coming from the opponent, we do decide to shield. Char Mew is quite glassy unfortunately, but... And now obviously the opponent probably thinks we've got only Grass Knot on the Mew, but now we absolutely shock him with the Flame Charge and it almost takes the Malmetal, one more Snarl and it goes down. Now an Obstagoon coming in. We're not, Mew is not that great against Obstagoon. But the other two Pokemon on this but oh my goodness me, the grass knot damage they're doing an insane chunk of the obstagoon's health cross chop wouldn't have done too much to us but didn't want to get hit by a night slash now the opponent switches well again there because i went for a flame charge instead of a grass knot still does a nice chunk of damage on the lapras there and now the opponent is probably going to take us out with a with a charge move just a surf but is just enough to take me out because it's quite glassy like i said now we can come in with venusaur some more super effective damage on the lapras we do get to the frenzy plant just in time there that gets the last shield off the opponent can we vine whip down just in time we can now the obstagoon coming back in charge move now coming at us probably just a cross chop so we not very effective doesn't do too much to us there and then the opponent does quit. Good battle there and well played to the opponent. We did have, we did hard counter them quite badly there, but okay, going into the next match. Oh, I don't know what happens there with that lag. It keeps happening to me, but okay. Be very good lead for us here. The wish cash. This will showcase what I said in the intro here. Let's just look at that. It's absolutely insane. One shot's the wish cash there. And the bomber stone now coming in, and we do have that flame charge as we know. But Rock Slide on the Stunfisk will also be super effective. Now we can go for the Rock Slide. Decided to shield up because an Energy Ball would have been super effective. We didn't want to get hit by that, but it was just a Weather Ball, so not too much to worry about there. I think we just... Oh no, we shield up again. And another attack incoming. Jesus, this Bomber Snow really does charge quick doesn't do too much to us there and now a Raichu interesting switch there we can hit, it, hit the Raichu with a nice rock slide here does a massive chunk of damage there and our fast move really adding up on the Raichu as it's super effective I believe it's a wild charge luckily if it's a grass knot it would have taken us out but wild charge lowering the Raichu's defense there and we can take it out with the next rock slide and the Obama snow comes back in we can get to a rock slide just in time. That'll be getting the last shield off the opponent there. 
and we do go down unfortunately the opponent farms us down there we come back in with Mew and we do get to the flame charge before the opponent fires off the weather ball and that is taking out the Abomasnow Snow there showcasing the Mew closing out the match up there always try and save a charge move up before you switch out and then you've got that safety net at the end of a match not a good lead for us here Mew is not great with my move, with my charge move set against a Bastiodon anyway but we're going for the grass not anyway Let's see what we can do. Doesn't do much damage, even though that was neutral damage, doesn't do much at all. Bastiodon is so bulky. We do shield up because Mew quite glassy, that probably would have taken us out. Now we can come in with a stun fisk. Because if we hit an earthquake, it will be taking out the Bastiodon. Oh, the opponent does shield there smartly, as that would have taken them out. I know a flamethrower is super effective on the stun fist because of the super uh, super effective damage and the steel typing. And the opponent does switch out just in time. Lucky I didn't throw the earthquake, it wouldn't have been too effective. But now we can, we've got two rock slides stored for this Wimmerscot that doesn't charge very fast at all. So they're probably just going to take our energy here. Which is quite frustrating, but we can get rid of one of their Pokemon. Hopefully. we can that'll take down the Wimmerscot and our Wish Cash coming back in I love seeing Wish Cash because I have two great answers for it in Venusaur and Mew we do have a Grass Knot stored so we can go for the Grass Knot hopefully the opponent doesn't shield they do shield smartly there that was necessary but we do have a shield ourselves and hopefully we can get to a Grass Knot the opponent does switch back into the Bastiodon, or we can switch into Venusaur. Unfortunately, the opponent does get to a charge move, and they do have Flamethrower. I haven't faced Bastiodon too many times, so I didn't realise that poison damage wasn't very effective. But I was very disheartened when I saw that much damage come off the Bastiodon there. But luckily, we are just about to get to a Frenzy Plant before another Flamethrower comes at us there. And we get one vine whip off on the wish cash before we go down and then the Mew can come in with a grass knot and we know exactly what that can do from that last matchup guys so that takes the wish cash out easily there going into the next matchup against another rank nine Mew on the lead against a stun fisk again not the best lead for us but we go straight for the grass knot do some nice neutral damage on the stun fisk there as damage goes on a stun fisk that's pretty good amount of damage with that grass knot i always shield the first move against mew to preserve the health but they've got two moves stored up so mew takes this rock slide surprisingly well to be honest it does a big chunk of damage but we still we're still going we we'll get a charge move stored up and then we uh switch into venusaur to catch this rock slide does more damage than I expected but that's okay we can go for the frenzy plant now on the stun fisk hopefully be getting a shield out of the opponent we do now the opponent's got another rock slide we do decide to shield this time to preserve the health on the Venusaur now the opponent strangely switches into a Lapras and I don't think they were expecting what happens next takes out the lap for us, a frenzy plant in one shot there and now a hypno coming in unfortunately super effective on the venusaur now coming with stun fisk and the hypno does get to a charge move before us there it is a shadow ball does a nice chunk of our health but we've almost got two rock slides stored up a nice chunk of the Hypno's health there and we've got another Rock Slide stored up to fire off at the Hypno. A bit of lag there stops me getting the Exelon which did, was a bit frustrating but we almost got there to the Rock Slide there but the Hypno does take us out with Shadow Ball first which could work in our favour because Mew can come in with that Snarl damage and farm down the Hypno which then the Stun Fist comes back in with only about a third of its health left 
that gets the shield of the opponent and then we can go for the grass knot again and close out the match up with Mew again in fashion there absolutely brilliant match there well played to the opponent and that's it from me guys for this video thank you so much for watching as usual please do like and subscribe if you've enjoyed the content and i will leave a, a link in the description to awesome jen's page please do check him out got some awesome content see you in the next video